Okay, it says prove with all reasons that triangle APB, this would be nice to put some color around this little triangle and this little triangle there. Prove that triangle C, uh, QD, that those two triangles are the same in every way or congruent. Well, we need to do that grade nine stuff, you know. If we can figure out a couple of angles and a corresponding side, that would be a good way to go. Well, we're given that this is a parallelogram. That means AB is parallel to CD. Well, that's what I use first. I figure BAP, that angle there, has to equal that angle there because the alternate angles of AB being parallel to DC. Well, I've got that angle and that angle. And then we're given that this is perpendicular. So that's 90 degrees there. And DQC, this angle here, must be 90 degrees. That's just a given, okay, because it was given that it was perpendicular there. And now we know it's a parallelogram, so AB is equal to DC, the opposite sides of a parallelogram. Well, that's all you need, two angles and a side that's opposite the corresponding 90-degree angle. So now we know APB is congruent to triangle CQD, angle, angles, and a corresponding side. Now prove with all reasons that P, D, Q, B is a parallelogram. Well, gee, we've got that this is 90 degrees here. We're kind of given it's perpendicular. This angle here and this angle here is 90 degrees. That forces BP and QD to be parallel. We've got that their 90 degrees was given. We've got that BP is equal to QD because of congruent triangles. And now, because those are both 90 degrees, they're both equal. They're alternate angles. That means they're parallel. Well, that's it. We've got opposite sides equal and parallel. And that's enough to say that PDQB is a parallelogram. All done.